Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me back here on KB Decor Crafts. I've been so obsessed with macrame lately that I wanted to show you a few decor pieces that I've created. So to start with, I wanted to show you how I made this really easy macrame banner. Don't forget to check down below in the description box to check for supplies that I use. Now let's go ahead and get started. For this entire banner, I used a three millimeter cord and I cut out a long piece of four foot cord. I like to use a regular ruler to measure my cord out and just measuring by inches. And for my beads, I got this huge bag off of Amazon that came with 200 beads and I'm also going to be staining them with Waverly Wax Antique Paint. I just layered it with one coat of paint and then wiped it all off with a paper towel. Now because the cord does taper at the ends, I used a piece of tape to wrap around the end of my cord to be able to put on the bead a lot easier. So I go ahead and put in one bead and I place it where I want the banner to begin. When sliding the bead over, make sure to leave enough room on the cord to be able to hang the banner up. For each section, I cut 10 two and a half feet cords to be able to create my design. To begin, I'm gonna wrap around the main cord, creating a lark's head knot. You're gonna make sure the cord ends are both even and then go ahead and wrap around behind the main rope having a loop open and then pulling the two strands through and pulling that down tightly. That's creating a lark's head knot. Once you have all 10 strands on, go ahead and attach another bead and this will be separating each triangle design. I found this was easiest to work with by tacking down my main cord. To begin, we're going to be taking the four cords on the left side to start our first knot. The two cords in the middle will stay in place while the one on the left crosses over and the one on the right will cross underneath and pull through and then pull up tightly. I hope that makes sense, but I'll try to show you a few times. So now we'll repeat the same process, but this time starting with the loop on the right hand side crossing over and the one on the left will be the one coming in from underneath straightening that out and that now creates a square knot. So now we'll continue the same square knot pattern with the next four set of cords. Hopefully you can see a little bit better how I cross the first one on the left and then loop underneath the right one to create the first part of the square knot. Making sure that's tight then going ahead and repeating the same process with the right hand side this time. It's easier to watch the visual than to actually explain it but go ahead and repeat that all across. Now to create the next row, we're going to be leaving off two of the strands on the left hand side, then grabbing two strands from one of the square knots and the other, combine them together to create another square knot underneath. And this is called an alternating square knot. You'll repeat that all the way across, leaving out the last two right cords. Every time you want to begin another row, you take out the two cords on the ends. At the very bottom of the triangle, we're going to combine the last two sets of cords to create the last square knot, and that'll create the point of the triangle. So now you can start to see the design taking place. Now to kind of highlight the design of the triangle a little bit better, we're going to be creating a double hitch knot. So the last cord on the end will be your lead cord that you're going to use to create your knot. Grabbing the next cord, you're going to wrap that underneath and pull through and pull up tightly to create your hitch knot. And with the same cord, you're going to loop around again to create a double hitch knot. Thank you. 
Each cord will be wrapped around twice around the lead cord creating your double hitch knot going all the way down the triangle. Once you've reached the center, go ahead and start on the right hand side creating the same double hitch knots. Once you get the hang of the knots, I promise it becomes a lot easier to do and it's actually really fun. When you reach the end of both sides, I like to take the lead cord on the right hand side to be able to create another double hitch knot with the cord from the left hand side to kind of close off that point. And now your first design is complete. Now it's up to you on how you want to cut off your ends. I like to cut it off in more of a slant. Um, I was having a little bit of trouble because these scissors were not sharp enough. I recommend using sharp scissors, which I now have, but go ahead and cut it off however you choose to do. I cut it more on an angle and then I decided to brush them out. Now I just used one of these Dollar Tree pet combs to brush out the ends, which it worked okay. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it got the job done. So I just continued to brush until I liked how the ends looked. Once I had the ends all brushed out the way I liked it, I then went back with my scissors to cut out more of the shape to clean it all up. I mentioned earlier, it is a lot easier to do this, especially with macrame cord if you have a really sharp pair of scissors. Preferably fabric scissors work best, but I just tried using these craft scissors and I did the best I could. So now you can go ahead and repeat the same steps creating as many banners as you'd like. I created five of them that fit perfectly on my four foot cord. And there you have it. Don't forget to make sure to put a bead in between each banner to separate them. I absolutely love how this turned out and it looks so cute in my bedroom. It fits in perfectly with the boho style that I have. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like these and stay tuned for more boho inspired videos.